I guess you know that about me, that I have a way with words. At least that's what people say. I'm not really so sure since I hate writing. Wait, that's not true. I hated writing though. I hated writing in high school. I hated writing in college. I hated writing in graduate school. I like objectivity. I like simplicity. I like clarity. I don't like word salads and casseroles where subjectivity gets introduced. In fact, if you take a famous phrase from Shakespeare like that, all the world's a stage and the men and women are merely players, I'll tell you, I like it much better in a simpler form. That is, let W equal world, let S equal stage, let H equal humans, and P equals players. If it's a world, then it's a stage. If it's human, then it's a player. But something happened to me when I was about 30 years old. There was a newspaper in this town. It was called The Other Paper. It was funny. It was smart. It was really cool. And they put an advertisement out one day that they were looking for a new writer on their team. And I knew the minute I saw that advertisement that the only way for me to ever be funny and smart and really cool was if I joined them as a writer. Now, there was a problem with that plan, right? And it was that I hated writing, but I didn't let that stop me. I sat down and started looking at great works of writing and tried to figure out what sorts of patterns supported those works, thinking I could mimic them and then one day get myself published in the other paper and it totally worked. And so I thought I'd share some of those patterns with you. First, do you recognize those signs? It's greater than and lesser than from math. Okay, consider this statement. It was a voluminously sized wolf with a heart that held great malevolence. Got it? Okay, this statement, it was a big bad wolf, is greater than, it was a voluminously sized blah, 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 blah. Shorter sentences are greater than longer sentences. In fact, shorter paragraphs, generally greater than longer paragraphs. Short has more impact. And why would you write if you didn't want to have impact? It's a punch, not a massage. Massages put people to sleep. Punches wake them up. Good writing wakes people up. There's another pattern from logic that you can use in writing. It's called modus ponens, and it looks like this. If x, then y. x, therefore y. I can show you how it works with an example. Let's let x equal very successful people are a little bit crazy. And let's let y equal you should be crazy too. If that is our thesis statement, then our job as a writer would be to provide the x, show some successful people that are a little bit crazy. And I can do that today. First, consider Richard Branson, famous British tycoon, has started lots of businesses. His current project is to pioneer commercial flights to the moon. Right. Estee Lauder, if you Google her name and the letters OCD, you'll find several reputable authors who claim that her entire cosmetics empire was built on her obsessive urge to touch women's faces. And number three, David Beckham, famous soccer player. He has to have everything in pairs. He says he's afraid of odd numbers. So that's why he's number three, right? Okay. So, we have the X. We have successful people that are a little bit crazy. So that gets us to the Y. You should be crazy too. And we have now my Y up there. But do you have my Y? I'm not so sure. One of my favorite sayings of all time is this. If all you have is a hammer, the whole world looks like a nail. And even if you've never heard this saying before, you can still sort of feel out what it means. That if you don't have the right tools for a project, you can go around bludgeoning things horribly. I take it from a different perspective, though. I think it's a statement about resourcefulness, because we won't always have the right tools for a job. But even if we don't have those tools, with a little determination and a little hard work, we can take our hammers and nail it every time. Thank you.